So I just hopped off of a webinar with the Bedford Area Chamber of Commerce called Selling Outside of Your Zip Code. And so today what I wanted to do is actually combine my two worlds, take something that I did for my local community and share it with my global community on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into a recording of that presentation and I hope you guys find it useful. Without further ado, let's hop in. So if you don't have something to write with, I want you to go ahead, grab a pen, grab some paper, and let's hop into the details. So let's talk about the early days of marketing small businesses. How have things changed since I became an entrepreneur? Well, in 2012, my husband moved from Virginia Beach to where I live, and he wanted to find a job in video production, but where we live is super rural and there weren't opportunities available. So we decided that we would try to start a video production business. Worst case scenario, we could just get a real job. But fast forward to 2020, we are still in business today, helping people to tell their stories. Well, at the time I was finishing up my last semester in college and all I knew about marketing was claim your name on every single platform you can. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, just do it brand it all to your business and that is how you market yourself online facebook was our primary method but that was our strategy that shotgun approach so it took us six months to build a portfolio and we did in-person networking events expos used word of mouth referrals leads groups facebook posts but then in 2015, I decided that I would launch my own business, that my skill set for web design could be useful to other small businesses. And so I decided that I would launch that business live on Periscope. And within six hours, not six months, I received my first client. And I began to use Facebook groups and Instagram as well to get my name out there. So what changed? were the same people. There was a different strategy being implemented to help us with the second business in comparison to the first. There are new ways of marketing yourself and there have been some big changes that I've seen over the past 10 years. Quality is better than quantity. You don't have to be on every single social media platform. It is way more important that you put the emphasis on where is my ideal customer hanging out and show up where they are. Video is king. So whether you're going live or you're pre-recording video, it's an amazing way to connect with your customers, establish credibility, and most of all, remove skepticism. Because when you are selling online, you need to show people that you are an actual business with actual services and products that they need. People have been scammed so many times online that video really does help remove that skepticism. So if you aren't using video, you need to start now. You have to have multiple ways to connect and multiple streams of income. So if one suffers, it doesn't sink your business. And we're seeing that right now, it is more important than ever that you don't just rely on in-person because if your doors close, your business closes if you don't have any other way to connect. So what platforms are available? What are your options? I like to call them the big three. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Facebook and Instagram are both owned by Facebook and YouTube is the second largest search engine and it is owned by Google. Social media is all about connecting and driving. Connect with your target customer and use social media to drive them to your website. It's not social media for the sake of social media. The goal is to use these tools to generate leads for your business on your website because your website is where you convert them. The website is where you turn that follower into a customer. If you heavily rely on a social media platform to communicate with your customers and that platform goes away or you lose your profile, you could lose your business. So we have to start focusing on getting people on platforms that we actually own. 
I believe your key to success is how quickly and easily you can update your website. In 2013, mobile phones made up 16.2% of worldwide traffic, but in 2019, it passed the 50% mark mobile friendly is no longer optional if you're trying to grow a successful business one out of every two people will be looking at your website on a mobile device is your website mobile friendly is it easy to update from staff changes to sales promotions you need to be able to update your website on your own and is it visually appealing your website is your digital storefront. And just like a storefront in real life or the front of your home, how is your curb appeal? What does your curb appeal say about the business inside? And so that is why I recommend that small businesses and nonprofits utilize the website platform Squarespace because it is all three of these things. Mobile friendly, easy to update, visually appealing. And so you can DIY your own site on the platform or you can hire a Squarespace Circle member or an expert to help you create a custom design on the Squarespace platform. So even during this time, I have reached out to folks and helped them make over their websites. And one example is the Bedford Area Chamber of Commerce. And we were able to take them from an antiquated website to something that was mobile friendly. And so even though the chamber was unable to do in-person events, they were unable to utilize printed flyers that they typically would hand out. They were still able to communicate with their members because they had an updated site. That site was a huge part of communication during this crisis. So when you're selling online, I want you to think about it in three steps. Step number one is post quality content. You don't have to have a big audience if you communicate value. I spend so much time helping other people market their businesses that I truly don't have a ton of time left for myself. And so even though my Instagram account only has 262 followers, I am still generating leads worth thousands of dollars from this profile because I deliver value. But you have to have a clear call to action. What is it that you want them to do after looking at your post? And so we need to talk about that with the link in the bio. Where are you sending them after consuming an Instagram post? In my case, I like to send them to my website where they can fill out a contact form or look at my portfolio to learn more about my process. You have to have a clear call to action that goes beyond follow my account and like this post. And step number three is automate the follow-up. Now this morning, I woke up at 2 a.m. and I could not go back to sleep. So I decided that I would get some work done and I opened up my email and I saw that I had sold an ebook while I was sleeping. Now was I at a networking event? Was I at a leads group? No, I had systems in place to automate processes in my business to help generate business while I wasn't on my website. And that's what it's all about. Technology makes that possible, so we have to take advantage of that. And this is not something that's just reserved for big businesses. So once again, if we go back, step number one is start to post quality content where your ideal customer is hanging out. Communicate that value and give them a reason to pursue contacting you further. And when they do, make that call to action super clear and easy to navigate. Use your website to do that work for you. Things like a simple link in the bio that sends people to a contact form is a very easy way for you to direct people on what to do next. And again, number three is you have got to automate that follow-up. Part of selling online is being open 24 hours a day seven days a week and that is literally not humanly possible so what we have to do is use technology to make that a reality 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that very quick presentation about selling online and selling outside of your zip code. It is more important than ever for you to have both an in-person and online marketing strategy for your business. If you look at your website and it is not mobile friendly, easy to update or visually appealing and you need my help, be sure to reach out to me at about90marketing.com and schedule your free consultation. Otherwise, I would encourage encourage you to subscribe to my channel and like this video because I will teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to ta for now. If you're interested in building your website on Squarespace and you want to get access to my cheat sheet that will give you discount codes, saving you anywhere from 10 to 50% off your first year, make sure that you go to lashondabrown.com and sign up for my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free.